Hello, everybody. Let's get straight to it. Today, we're going to review uh, project resource improvements uh, statements that were posted on roadmap.dynamics.com website. In particular, we're going to look at the sentence that you're going to see on your screen right now. Introduced a resource concept for project resource management. In previous releases, workers were used as project resources. Now, operational resources are used as project resources. It is still possible to set a worker as a project resource in a worker's form, but now the system will automatically create an operation resource for this worker. So let's just break this whole thing down. In previous releases of Dynamics, we had uh, workers used as resources for our projects. Now we have an intermediate step that allows us to filter uh, all the workers that we have created in the system for different purposes and only pick and choose the ones that should be available for project scheduling and use. How are we going to do that? So in U Dynamics 365 for operations, we have a concept of project list. This is a form we are looking at right now. In this form, we can create new resources that would be available to us to use in projects module. As you can see right now, I have one resource set up over here. To navigate to this new form, we're going to go to a project management and accounting module. We're going to go under uh, project resources and we're going to click on project list. So here is a current list of our project resources available for us. Uh, how to create a new resource? There are two ways to do it. It's either cl click on new resource or new from operations resource. And that's where I would like to stop and just explain uh, terminology that was used in that uh, roadmap uh, for Dynamics website. So we have uh, same common understanding. Uh, resources in X2012, X2009 are now referred to as operation resources. So those are very familiar to us, uh, resources such as human resources or machines or tools. So those are considered to be now uh, operation resources in Dynamics 365 for operations. So this is a list of resources we, that we are looking at right now. Uh, we still have a concept of workers, which basically is uh, employees or contracts, uh, two types of employees. Uh, and we have those uh, as workers. And now with new with Dynamics 365 for operations, we have a, a concept of project resources, which we can see in our project list right now. So uh, how to create a new project resource. So let's take a look at the first option, which is a new resource. When we're going to click on this button right up here, we're going to see a dialog box on the right hand side. And we're going to click on the worker tab. We're going to see a list of three workers. So you may uh, ask yourself, what type of workers am I seeing here? I do have more than three workers. How come I only see three? So there are three criteria, or there are three filtering criteria that need to pass for that worker to show up in the list. So the first one, of course, you need to have a worker record if you want to see something that drop down. So that's a, a option number one. Again, the worker record could be either employee type or a contractor type. The second requirement is that worker record has to be uh, set up in the same legal entity you're trying to create the project resource in. So only the workers that are set up and have a primary assignment in your in the current legal entity will be uh, will show up over here. And the third uh, requirement is that the current worker should not have an operational resource record created for it. So any worker that is already defined as an operational resource will not show up in this list. Let me take you through a simple setup scenario. I'm going to go into my workers uh, form right now and I'm going to create a brand new worker type employee. I will name him Tim and the last name Jones. As you can see, the legal entity is USMF, which is a current legal entity. The worker type is employee, and I'm gonna click on new, hire a new worker. So as simple as that, I just created a brand new worker, Tim Jones. Then I'm gonna go back to my project list form, and I'm gonna click new resource button. And from here, I'm gonna click on the drop down for worker. Right away, I can see my Tim Jones worker showing up in my list right up here. Pick one here click select. I just need to select a calendar for it. Let's say it's going to be 24 hours and I'm going to click create. So as simple as that, I have created a brand new project resource. 
In addition to creating a project resource, as stated in our roadmap article, the system will automatically create an operational resource for this worker. So I created a worker, I used that worker to create a project resource, and as soon as I did that, system on the background created an operational resource for that project resource. So let's take a look up here. I'm going to go and search for Tim in description. And I can see Tim Jones is created as a resource with number 000668 automatically by the system. If I were to delete a project resource right now, my operation resource for Tim will still be intact. I will still be able to see it right up here. I can delete my operation resource that was created automatically uh, manually as a separate uh, action. Let's go back to our project list right now and let's explore a second option uh, for creating the project resources. It is a new from operation resource. When you click on this button right up here, we're gonna see a dialog box, a different one on the right hand side. As you can see right here, the only input is picking an operation resource. Let's look on that drop down, and we see a few names over here. Now, uh, you may ask yourself what type of operational resources do I see in this list? Again, there are several criteria that uh, I will list for you right now. The first, of course, is it has to be set up as an operational resource. Again, operational resource is what was formerly known as a simple resource uh, that you have set up in a production module or a human resource module, for example. So those are our operational resources. The, the operational resource has to have a type human resource. So if I will go back to my human resources right up here, I'm gonna clear that criteria. Uh, the resource has to have a type human resource for us to be showing up right here. So that's a second criteria. So you have to have an operation resource, that resource has to have a type human resource. And the third most important criteria here is uh, there should be no record in a table that is called res resource identifier for that operation resource that you're trying to create a project resource for. Now, uh, there's a great article written by Eugene Glazo, which was posted on uh, uh, Microsoft uh, blog. Uh, the article is called AX7 Table Browser and Class Runner. Uh, you're going to find a link to that great article in the description for this video. In the first portion of this article, uh, Eugene explains how to delete a worker uh, in, uh, at New AX, Dynamics 365 for operations. Uh, there are multiple errors that you can get when you try to do that. The first one is uh, that worker may be linked to a resource, but when you try to delete a resource, you may get an error that may look like this. Resource cannot be deleted while dependent res resource identifier exists. Delete dependent res resource identifier and try again. And unfortunately, he explained that's a manual option that you have to do that. Uh, what I used to get uh, to this is a plugin for a Chrome browser. Again, very nice feature right up here that allows me to browse uh, tables in, in AX and find the relevant information. You will not get this error with the new uh, workers and new resources that you set up. But if you use Demo Contoso data, which I am using for this demonstration, you may encounter this error for existing uh, resources that already come in out of box uh, in USMF legal entity in the Contoso company. In order to solve this error, I had to do a two-step approach. The first step was to find the record ID of a resource that I'm trying to delete, the operational resource that I'm trying to delete. And again, I and in order to do that, I used the utility, uh, which is called AX Table uh, Browser for AX7, uh, which is a Chrome add-in or a, an extension. This is a table where you can find this information, which is worker control table. Once you found the record, uh, uh, ID of the resource, operational resource you're trying to delete, the next step according to this article is to go to that REST resource identifier table, find that record based on that uh, reference record ID and delete it. After that is done, you will be able to delete this record, delete the resource, and as soon as, as, soon as you do that, you will be able to see your resource in the drop down for our project list right up here. 
Let me take you through an example. Right now, I'm looking at the work record for Alex Roberts, and it is a work record in the USMF company. I will now go and create a brand new operation resource for Alex Roberts. I will pick a tab as a human resource, and in my worker drop down, I will look for Alex, and I'm going to pick this record. As soon as that is saved, uh, and new operation resources created, I am going to, going to back to my project resource list and I will see my brand new selection, which is Alex R, which is a brand new operation resource I just created as a selection to create a new project resource. As soon as this is done, you will create a brand new resource for your projects. Now, only the resources that have been des designated as project resources will be available uh, for project selection, for example, assigning the projects, assigning project categories, assigning costs and uh, sales prices, etc. So here's a new intermediate level, which is a project resources, which again filters the list of all the workers that you may have set up in the system for different purposes uh, to only highlight the ones that should be available for project management uh, module. And the last thing that I would like to finish my uh, demonstration for today's video is the point that I have highlighted right here is uh, a new functionality is an added ability to define the default resource role. So let's take a look at this setup. So we're gonna go and we're gonna search for setup uh, roles main menu. So it's under project management and accounting setup resources. Here we can define an uh, unlimited number of user defined uh, project resource roles. Uh, and you can see that I created one for manager and then you can designate any of the roles that you created as a default role. So any project resource that is created by default will be assigned to that uh, team member role right now. Again, you can pick any role that you have created. And where do we find this uh, setups or where can we assign additional roles to our project resources? And if you want to go back to our resource list right here, we can click under uh, ribbon bar for the project resource resource role. And that, that's where we can assign additional roles to the resource that we just created. That is all for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. More to come. Until the next time.